In the studio today, we have a special guest. Uh, he haven't been on TV for a little while, I don't think, not from what I've seen on the tapes. Huh? He dragged me in kicking and screaming to get on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I've been at it ever since uh, I got down here. But anyway, uh, uh, we're having this little uh, discussion today about the internet. So uh, Dave got a few things he wants to uh, uh, tell tell the public about about the internet, the situations and and everything that's going with it, and some and some changes that's going to come. So Dave, uh, first thing I guess we want to ask is uh, just get people, some people up speed and stuff. How is how has the internet changed? Since you've been at, you was one of the first ones to put in the internet, weren't you? Here in Virgil. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, we put wireless internet in Virgil back in two thousand and three, two thousand and four, mm-hmm. and uh, we built the tower up in uh, West Body Hill, and we started. We bought a big internet connection. Well, back then, was a big internet connection, and split it up and sent it out wirelessly to all the houses. And uh, when we set the houses up. Back in 2003, uh, there was a dial-up in Virgil before that. Dial-up was 56k, yes. and we hooked people up with in Virgil was 400k. Yeah. So 400k was eight times the speed of dial-up. Yeah, it was awesome at that time. Well, <laughs> <laughs> very quickly the, the people of Virgil used that up. Um, yeah. It tends to be the more speed you give them the more to use it the more to use it the more speed they need and stuff so uh, one of the things over the last 14 or 15 years that we've been offering the internet speed in Virgil has always been more want more want more and uh, we started off with a a T1 line here in our office Mm -hmm. and that T1 line is 1.5 megs and we took that and split it up and uh, sent it out to the people of Virgil and uh, Quickly found out that T1 wasn't enough, yeah. <laughs> and people were grumbling that it was slow and stuff like that. And uh, eventually, we worked a deal with uh, Bell, mm-hmm. where they wanted us to buy bandwidth up in um, Rose Blanche. Yes. And basically, for twice the speed, for the same price, they gave it to us in uh, sold it to us. Yeah. In Rose Blanche, so we went to Rose Blanche and we uh, moved from a T1 line to three megs. And then we went to five megs, and then we went to ten megs, yeah. and uh, eventually up in Rose Blanche, we had a thirty meg wireless shot from Rose Blanche to uh, to Virgil, and uh, that was going along okay. Yeah. But what was happening back then was uh, we started running t- into issues when we needed more than thirty megs that the wireless system couldn't handle it and everyone remembers that all the internet was slowed down well there's a problem with the link between Virgin and Grand Britain then from Grand Britain to Rose Blanche and on and on and on and we spent the bulk of our time hanging off towers between here and Rose Blanche trying to fix stuff yeah. and when we did get things fixed our cable system our wireless system couldn't handle any more traffic and we were in a situation where we could not put uh, more radios up because the radio started interfering with each other, and on and on and on. Mm-hmm. So, we uh, we worked a, a way to put the internet on the cable system. So we put the cable internet on the cable in Virgil, and we quickly realized that we could put more bandwidth. And as we tried to upgrade the wireless link between Virgil and Rose Blanche, that we couldn't get enough bandwidth from Rose Blanche down here to use what we could here in, in the cable system. Mm-hmm. And uh, eventually, we got into the fiber. Yeah. So now the fiber optic cable comes ashore over on the island and comes right into the office, which technically means we have unlimited access to bandwidth. Yeah. So then from that point forward, it's always been getting it out to the customers. Yeah. So we'll buy a, 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 a big fancy router to push it out to our cable system. and. When that got to capacity, we had houses in Virgil. We started off with 400K. When we put it on the cable, we went to uh, 1.5, uh, 1 meg. Then we went yep. to 1.5, and then we went to 3 megs. And currently, we're at 5 megs. 5 megs, yeah. Right? 5 megs down, and in Virgil, is 5 megs down, 1 meg up. Yeah. Right? So, uh, what we've seen over the years, um, 
when we used to bring the internet to a customer's house, that we had a cable modem hooked up to a computer. And everybody had one computer, and that was it. And you had the odd person that had two computers. Yes. And so when they had two computers, well, you need a, a router, and yes. off you go. We went through a whole series of people getting routers put in, and then we had to go around and teach people how to secure them yep. so that their neighbors wouldn't steal on their internet and stuff like that. But right. Anyway, everyone knows, and it's been pushed enough, if you have a router, you need to have it secure and whatever. Mm. But what we're finding now, with the usage of uh, routers, when we go into people's houses now, it's very rare to see a computer hooked up. It's yes. an iPad, an iPod, an iPhone, a smartphone, and smart TVs, smart TVs, well. Xboxes, and more recently, you have these um, Android boxes and uh, and the Apple TVs. Yep. So, um, not just one thing connected to the internet. The uh, mobile. Yeah, it's called the Internet of Things. So just yeah. about anything you buy now can be connected to the Internet and stuff. Yeah. So while the speed is one thing, yeah. that the volume that's being used in the house has dramatically increased. Yes. And I remember a couple of years ago, we had a couple of customers here in town, and they ended up getting out on Facebook and stuff, but a few people were using 100 gigs. And we were like... How can you use 100 gigs of data in a month? Yeah. And, and the majority of the people were down 5 and 10 gigs. Yeah, right? right. And, and when you get a cell phone package, now if you look at your cell phone, your cell phone, your data package, and then most yeah. of them are 1 to 3 megs, uh, gigs a yeah, month. That's right, yeah. right. 3 gigs on your cell phone, very quickly, just using your cell phone. Yes. A lot of people going over and they get the big cell phone bills. Yeah. Well, when they go into the house, they go out through their Wi Fi and stuff. That's right. But I can tell you that <clears throat> in the last year or two, 20% uh, of customers in town go over 100 gigs a month. Yes. Whereas two years ago, there were one or two people hit 100 gigs. Yep. You were probably one of them, downloading your movies and stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, oh, yes. I was about to say, you'll be the, the I ain't no angel. <laughs> well, I... Two teenagers. Well, I had two teenagers home, and when they're on the Xbox and and playing their online games, now you can pre-order games so that when they come out, uh, you, don't, you don't even have a DVD. It just no. downloads from oh, it. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it uses up a fair bit of bandwidth. Yeah. And yes, we don't uh, have the fastest internet in in the world, yeah. but our internet always has been unlimited in yes. the volume of data. It's sensitive, yeah. Right, but we have uh, we have. Uh, one person in November hit a terabyte of data, which, which is, is a thousand gigs. Which thousand gigs, which is a, a million megs. Yeah, right. So either way you want to look at it, it was a, a lot of uh, download. Yes. But uh, back to the speeds. Like we started with uh, a two. Started with a T1 line here in this office, a three meg up, up there, whatever. Um, when we put hooked up to the fiber, we started off with 30, we mm. bumped to 60, we went to 100, and last summer we had 200 megs. Yes. So BBS had a 200 megs uh, service that, that chops up to five megs for you and five for you and five for you all around, all around. Yes. So um, last summer, we realized, found people were complaining, oh, the internet slowed down, the internet slowed down. Yep. And what we found was, I don't, I don't know how well I can zoom in here on this, but right here, it was in uh, April, May, and June of last year, the graph was pretty much flat line. Okay, yeah. So when she's flat line, that, like that means we're using all of our bandwidth. Yes. So the people were complaining, that, and then last year we went and bought another 100 megs, and we went from uh, 200 megs up to 300. Yeah. Right? So then we started having good lines and everything's hunky dory. But then when you see up here to December, yeah. right? She starts to flatline again. Yeah. Right? And when she starts to flatline, that's when you're getting on and your little circle comes up and things are not going the way it wants and away, yeah. everyone starts cursing the internet. Yeah. <coughs> so in January, we went back to our internet, our uh, uh, Eastlink, and said, listen, we need more bandwidth. Yeah. And what they did was they took the cap off the fiber and said, hey, 
use it. Use whatever he wants, and they left it alone for a week or so, so we can see uh, and what you were using. using. Right, and she went up to 377 megs. What? So we were only paying for 300, and yeah. now we're up to 377. No. So every time we buy more bandwidth, yeah. it, it costs us more money. So one, that's one of the big problems that we're running into now is we went last year in July, bought 100 megs. Oh. That brought us up and got us up to Christmas. And I guess the word got out with Android boxes in Christmas and the Apple TVs because I've been yep. around town and see them. And yes. they're fantastic devices. Yep. But it just means that people are using more internet. Sure. And if we're as a group using more, well, BBS as a company got to buy more. Yes. And up until now, we haven't passed that cost on to the customers that we've absorbed it and. and, and, and but the fact of the matter is we don't have to buy some more wireless radios. We don't have to buy so much equipment in here so we've right. been able to swallow it. Right? So the bandwidth. Use the bandwidth. But what's happening now is our bandwidth cost is going up exponentially. Every six months we've got to buy 100 megs. Next month we've got 100 megs. And yeah. if we got to keep buying 100 megs, then it comes with a cost. You're going to exceed what you're actually getting. Right. So right now... BBS has um, a 300 meg service for here in Virgil, yeah. and and uh, the cost that we are right now is fifteen thousand dollars a month. Wow! Right, fifteen thousand dollars a month, and to buy yeah. more bandwidth. Yeah. If you look at do the math very quick, five hundred customers in Virgil, approximately yeah. five hundred customers in Virgil at thirty dollars a month. Yeah. Fifteen thousand dollars. That's what. And there's no money left over to pay your salary, my salary, heat no. lights and everything. All the money that we're taking in in Virgil is paying for our bandwidth costs. Yeah. And now we're going back to look for more bandwidth. Yes. And now, yes, we have other customers outside of town. And, and right. they're helping pay the bills still and they're paying our salary and stuff. Right? right. So this is one of the things that we have to come back and say, we we need more bandwidth. Or yes. else customers are, oh, I bought an Android box and can't watch the movie. He keeps buffering. Yes. Right? And... That, I don't have a problem with Android boxes and stuff, no. but if we're going to keep using bandwidth at the rate that we're using, That's right. we got to buy more. And if yeah. we got to buy more, as a group, we got to pay for more. Yes, because right? the world changed by it. And within the past couple of years, like, I mean, Netflix, I think Netflix changed the world. <laughs> Start out, eh? You know what I mean? <laughs> I got graphs showing right. the amount of Netflix that people are watching. Yeah. And, like, uh, we can break down how, how much we're using. And over, well over half of all the bandwidth all that bandwidth. we have is due to Netflix or some type of streaming, yes. right? So yeah. the days of people downloading movies and putting them on DVDs is, is disappearing. As yeah. the internet becomes more and more reliable, why would you download it? I can watch it whenever I want. Yeah. And, and as those Android boxes come out, you can see in the Apple TVs and Netflix, yes. right, some of the boxes I've seen that they get those apps on them, that movies still in theaters. And oh, yeah. sitting in there, just watching High Definition. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. from that perspective, yes. um, because the internet is better, you can do more on it and use more, and and that's right. That's what it's for. That's right. That's what it's for. That's right. So, and we don't want to, and we don't want to defer people from uh, thinking that we don't want you to do that, right? No, 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 right? no, no. That's, I mean, that's we want everybody to continue the way they are. Well, if everybody gave up really, I'd be out of a job. <laughs> yeah, <that's> right. <laughs> right? So, yeah. but the thing is, people need to use it, but just have yes. to realize that, okay, we're using more and more, so we got to pay for more. Yes. And and one of the things I want to point out is, in the 13 years that we've been doing it, yeah. the very first person we hooked up with the internet was twenty nine ninety five. Yeah. Here we are 14 years later, right. 13 or 14 years, when, whatever the number is, it, it hasn't changed a cent. Right. And and the service and the old wireless stuff that we had that very few people were happy with yep. to what we have now is, is a world price. of difference. Yeah, always, but, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a service, yeah, but the yeah, price sure. is exactly the same. Yes. Right? Yeah. So I want to just run some numbers by you. And and, yeah. and, and, and I got my laptop here on, on the page. Yeah. And over out of our 500 internet customers in the last month in Burjo yeah. and, and in Ram as well, yes. that people on proportion are going 100 gigs is quite normal for people to use. Yes. Right? So in Burjo, you're paying twenty nine ninety five for 100 and unlimited. Yes. And some people are using two and 300 yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah. So if you had a, a package with uh, ExploreNet, and yeah. I don't know uh, well, this 
shows up on TV on, on your screen. Well, right? it was all I just blow it up accuracy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So right here, if you had exploring it, which would be somebody that you would go and and uh, get a service here in Burton with. Yeah. They got a five meg internet connection, ten gigs download, and their cost is. Do I have it up here? This should be like the other There you go. Forty nine ninety five. So for fifty dollars for same speeds, what we're getting? Yep. They're only allowed to use ten gigabytes. Just ten. Just ten. Now ours for five megs is unlimited, and you're using hundred, so that's ten times it. If you slide across the road here, if yes. you want to use hundred gigs, their speed is faster. No yes. doubt about that. But for hundred gigs, you got to pay one hundred and ten dollars. Still. And there's still people that are actually using three times that amount. So, so essentially, they should be actually paying almost 400 bucks for what 300 gigs they're using. Right. And then we're, we have no intentions of going no, down, no, down no. this road. Yes. But at, at, even at 5 megs, which is the same as ours, $60. Sure. And 10 meg, 50 gigs, 70 bucks. Yeah, that's right. Right? Yeah. So that's what exploring it. Yes. Right? So that's, that's those guys. Yep. And and they would be someone that you could get if you didn't have BBS internet, right? That's right. And here's another company in the Newfoundland internet. Yeah. It's a company called IceNet. Okay, yeah. IceNet has two packages, 1.5 and IceNet 3. Yeah. 1.5 download, 3 meg download. Okay, yeah. Both of them are unlimited, up to 1.5 down, right? Yeah. 39.95 unlimited data. So it's 40 bucks. 40 bucks. And over here, you have three megs. Yeah. And they're charging fifty four ninety five. Yeah. But they don't have five megs. No. They don't have a package for five megs. Five so megs. three megs, sixty percent of the speed you have right now, and it's fifty five dollars a month. That's right. And we're right now we're paying twenty nine ninety five. Yeah. Right now. That's right. right. So that's one of the things that needs to get adjusted. Yes. So at the last board of directors meeting that they, the board of directors have agreed that they are, have no choice but to raise the rates. So effective May 1st, yep. that they're raising the rates across the board for all internet customers in Virgil, Ramia, Grey River, Francois, and Cadre Valley by $5. $5 oh, plus really? tax. Sweet. So the price is actually going from twenty nine ninety five in Virgil to uh, thirty four ninety five plus tax. Yeah. Right? So... Uh, that's the bad news. Right? Yeah, that's the bad news. That's the bad news. Um, when you look back at the speed and the quality of the internet that you had 13 years ago on the wireless yes. for twenty nine ninety five, and the speed and what you have now, I think is very reasonable. Yeah. Uh, our mistake would probably be that we didn't go up a dollar last year and a dollar yeah. and, and do it incrementally. Yeah. But this. I guess the I guess the influx of on past couple of years. You know I mean if we looked at this five years ago, if you guys looked at this five years ago. You would never ever really predict that you would be this much. So would you? Right, but uh, but right? at the same time, we didn't expect the use of the internet to go up so fast. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah. So uh, last year when we went up from two hundred megs to three hundred megs for our service, that okay, we absorbed that cost, but we did, we thought that would last us another year or so and, and things, and, and, and it would adjust, but it didn't. That's right. Right? And, yeah. and it was just constantly people using more internet. Yes. But one of the other things that we're going to be able to do, and and this is a this is coming, it's in the works. Mm. It's not there yet, but uh, I'm working on it. So that, like with your cell phone, you get an email reminder saying, hey, uh, you used 100 gigs. Yes. Uh, you're, you're using your gig that you have on there, and yeah. if you continue, you got to pay extra. Yes. Right? Yeah. So what I want is a similar service with BBS yeah. so that customers be aware of how much they're using. Yes. So w what we're doing now is we're working with the same company, the, the 1-800 call center, yeah. that you will be provided with uh, uh, an email address, and you will be able to go in and log on and see what you're using. Oh, yeah. So I had a customer come in one day, and he commented to me that uh, he was going to give up the internet. I yep. don't use the internet no more. <laughs> and I, I was looking, and I could see how much everybody uses. I can go in for the last four months, tell you how much you upload and how much you download and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And uh, he was in the top ten users. <laughs> but he was telling me that he wasn't using the internet. Yeah. But when I looked at it, sure, he doesn't have his computer hooked up, but he got two Apple TVs. Yes. So he's watching TV all the time. And that's coming that's right. through the internet. Yes. Right? And so the laptop now is 
the least of what people use the internet for, right? Yeah. Uh, the Xbox One. Yeah. Uh, I can see like Christmas Day uh, <laughs> last year. The yeah. internet was going on. We we went from uh, 160. Not, not Christmas guy, but Christmas before. Yeah. 160 megs we were going, and was what were we top do that? And bang, yeah. at Christmas morning she went up to 200 and she stayed up there, right? Yes. And and, and a lot of people, a lot of people just don't like me. Yes, they we're, we're, we're like topping gigs and megabits and stuff. A lot of people don't realize how much of an impact it really is. Like me, I mean, I don't sell when I bought my Xbox One, right? It come with a free game, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, whatever it was. And it's going to be a free game. So I put it in coal, whatever, like that. I want to come down with 40 gigs. 40, 40 gig demo for one game. Yeah. So essentially, you know what I mean? In my perspective, in the past, I used to buy games like this. But then I said, well, since I, I don't have a video store in Virgil, it'd be easier to, to download it. But I think I'm going to actually go back and buy it on this because at least it, you know what I mean? That's a big demo. Like, yeah, I don't mind the download. It's just no. taking time. But at the same time, like you're just one. That's right. I, I, my young fellow used to be on the Xbox and stuff. Yeah. But you'll see the kids now, if their internet connection is up, they're doing play game. Yeah, that's right. They can't play on this drive line. No. And, 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 and to them, it's a waste of time. Yes. But at the same time, you have, when you're watching TV, like if you turn your setting down, who's, yeah. going, who's going to turn setting down and watch the definition, a, a movie on Netflix in low definition? That's right. They'll ask high definition. Oh, yeah. Right? Way, way. <laughs> right. So <laughs> it, if you're going to watch a movie, and as soon as you turn on that Android box, we can go in and look at your internet speed. As soon as yeah. you turn the movie on, yes. she starts downloading. She downloads. You have five meg internet connection here. She's mm -hmm. five megs, five megs, five megs. Yeah. I tell her she gets the whole movie downloaded. Right? Yes. And when she gets the whole movie downloaded, then your internet speed drops off, but yeah. it's already downloaded. That's, that's a volume yeah. for, for your movie. And so, movie's not even, not even playing yet. No, not even playing. But yeah, right. um, uh, D-Link has got a box out there, and, and the, those Android boxes that you're using now, they download as you're watching movies. Yes. Right? Yeah. But um, D-Link has got a box out there that goes and pre-downloads the movies. So uh -huh. that they're already downloaded. So you yeah. got the internet connection, and it goes out and downloads all the top movies. Got them on the on on your thing. On your thing. So when you're ready for, them. for when you're ready to watch and turn off the internet, you want. But the thing is, it's downloaded to the movie. But that thing is just 100 percent time feed and download movies, download feed movies, download feed. movies. Yeah. Right. So that's out there. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. And like I've had conversations with uh, Eastlink and Bell Line. Yeah. And, and uh, those guys are saying, like, one time you had a internet and you had a telephone and you had TV. <laughs> yeah. Right? And they said, well, a lot of people got their TV, telephone, give up their gun with cell phones. Okay. Or they got their magic jacks or their con waves. So, it's all in. so yeah. they said, okay, well, we lost the revenue from the telephones. So they stuck yeah. it on their internet. And, and right. so now you need the internet connection. And what's really happening is in five or six years' time, probably ten years' time, TV's gone. Yeah. Because everybody can watch it. Well, I must watch a lot of people watch some Walking Dead. That's right. right. Okay. We don't we don't offer AMC. But yeah. everybody in town watching it either they got a satellite dish That's or right. an hour after it's aired, they're on downloading, watching on the guy on, doing uh, last Sunday for the for the last episode Sunday. <laughs> on, on their Android boxes yeah. or whatever streaming tool that you have. That's right, yeah. So the thing is why should I watch a television show at six o'clock when you watch when you want to? I watch when I want. Every free, free, on demand, right? Yeah, that's right. But in, in order for that to work, you got to have a sensible internet connection. Yes, right. So for on demand and for those netbacks, like a lot of people didn't have those Android boxes because the internet wasn't good enough. Yeah. Now the internet's getting better. That's right. Okay, now we get the Android boxes, right? Yes. So the, they all comes hand in hand with each, with each other. So, so now, like. When our internet caps off to whatever cap we got it on, you know what I mean? Just saying, you know, it goes up to like the maximum. What happens to everybody's internet? And it just it just slows down, and ceases to work, right? Okay, yes, but don't cap. No. There's, there's no caps for us as such that 
like I showed you the graph of the 10 gigs, 100 gigs, or 50 gigs. Yeah. You, right now, you're not getting an email saying that, oh, you've no. used 100 gigs, you're stopping. The, no, I mean, like, we're like the total system itself. Oh, when she flatlines. Yes, yeah. Uh, when she flatlines, that's when everything gets sluggish, and yeah. the TV starts to buffer, the movie starts to buffer, and, and things along those lines. Yeah. And you got a week longer for your page to load up, and that's the type of stuff. And if you go to speed tests, yes. do the speed tests, instead of getting the five megs, you get two or three or oh, that, yeah. right? Yeah. So that, when the, that's the point, gets clogged yes. up, right? And, and most it, times you experience is that during... Sunday nights. Sunday nights. Sunday nights. Yeah. In the 13 years that we've been watching, using the internet, for yeah. whatever reason, yeah. uh, I don't know what it is, but Sunday nights, if you watch our graphs, like this, these graphs that we have here, yeah. right? And watch our internet speeds and yeah. usage, then there's just a day-by-day -day basis. So this one, everybody goes to bed. So yeah. this is last night, right? Yeah. So what happens is, on her bags at the say two o'clock in the afternoon or so, yeah. and then that's when the kids get out of school, right? Yeah. And then they so the evening, the evening. evening goes overnight. So this eight o'clock morning, the kids gets up. This yeah. morning, they're nine. kids went home during nine, right? <laughs> and then, then she starts climbing back up, and she go up. And this yeah. and this graph here, she hit the three hundred megs, three hundred more last night. Is what right? And then she just slows down and overnight there's still people doing stuff. Yes. Like right? obviously on the internet and whatever and just just normal normal usage, right? Yeah. So now um get get back to some some basic I suppose within the internet. Now there's a lot of people perceive slow down reasons in their internet. And there's multiple causes that, that you can actually troubleshoot your own self. Right? Yes. So, like, what are some things that could cause you your internet to be slow, but is not really an internet problem? So the one thing is those cheap little routers. Yeah. Uh, the D-Link 604, 601s, and lately some of the, the uh, Linksys ones. Yeah. That, uh, that thing has got a memory chip in it. Okay, yeah. And what happens is uh, the memory starts to get bad in it. Uh, and it sounds like the old... Um, uh, camera batteries. Oh yeah. Good for two hours when you bought them first. Yep. And then... Um, sorry about that. Um, the camera batteries. After two hours, then, oh, next thing I can only get an hour. And then I can yep. get 20 minutes out of half an hour, whatever. Those, what I found, like, my info was every day, every morning, I got a reset his router. This one. Reset the router, and what would happen is take power off, put power back on, internet be fine, and then yep. next morning get up on here and slow again. Take the router, power off the router, put power back on, and away yes. she goes again. Yep. Right? So, but what happened was it got shorter and shorter eventually every hour. Yep. And then, so we threw it up and we got another router. Yep. And so now we got a, a, a different type of router, and, and the same thing doesn't happen with it, right? Yep. And uh, those things just need to be replaced. And I'm finding a lot of customers uh, in the last year or so that that's after happening with, right? Yeah. And VBS is selling routers down here, wireless routers, TP-Link. They're by no stretch of imagination the high-end routers. Nope. But they're more than adequate for most what most people are doing. Yep. Um, uh, we were selling them for uh, Thirty nine ninety five, and uh, fortunately we couldn't get our hands on any more of those now, and the price has gone up. So they're bigger ones, yeah. and uh, the old ones were one hundred fifty megs. These are three hundred megs. And yeah. they're, they're for forty nine ninety five. Okay, right? yeah. But the wireless router really, those routers. Remember when, at the same time, like when you put them in first, you had one computer hooked up to it or one laptop. Sure. Now you got a laptop, iPhone, smart TV, yeah. everything all hooked up. They just can't handle what's going on there. Yeah, but. They need to be reset or sold out. But yeah. the other thing, like I explain to customers, when it legitimately is an internet problem, yeah. uh, our internet's coming in through the cable. Yeah. And if your cable TV is not good, we're using high channels frequencies to push the internet to your to your TV. So if yeah. your channel two is getting bad, or channel three or four, and channel 19 in particular, when those yep. channels start getting bad, yep. when, then your cable's not working right. So if it's not working for cable, right. it's not working for the internet coming in. Yes. So I always tell the guys that the customer's calling you, it's channel four, 40, yeah, 19 bad. Yep. Yeah, 19's gone black and white now. So I want your internet going to start going. Yep. But fortunately for us is usually the TV starts going first. Okay, yeah. Right, but I've still been in customers' house and their channel two would be snowy, yes. and they're not calling to complain. Oh, it's been like that for a long time. Yes, right. And it could contribute to like the type of cable you're using too, right? 
I want to make sure to bring to bring that one up because that happens a lot. I think. Uh, uh, well, yes, the, some of the cheaper cables, uh, the shove on cables, the ones that you shove on, yeah. they're really bad. Uh, that the signal doesn't carry very well through it. It's not making a tight connection, and yeah. so if you got loose connectors, it makes it bad. So yeah. there's no way of making a, a shove on connector tight, right? And then you, sometimes you got the old small. Uh, weak foam cable with a small center conductor. Okay, yeah. So the traffic is not going through it so big as if you want a big connection, you got a bigger wire, yeah. right? And and so the wire that we sell down here, you, know, you can buy the wire somewhere else, but it got to be got to be an RG6. Yeah. The old 59 cables and and the old cheap cables that you you got one time was, uh, uh, causes issues, yes. right? Just don't cut it no more. Yeah, no, no. And like I, I've been in people's houses where oh they cut the cable off and and they join themselves with take names together and stuff oh. and that's just causing grief for everybody yeah and and we don't charge for service costs so we'll come out and fix that for you yes right? so uh, yeah. anyway there's, it's important that your tv is clear in order for your internet to be satisfactory yeah and the di the other difference is <coughs> with just tv and cable it was broadcast so the signal went out yes so you if you start having problems, you just turn up the volume or turn up the signal. Yeah. But you can't do that now because for an internet, the signal got to come back to. Okay, yeah. Right? So you might have a sensible TV, but if you got a crack in your cable or a loose connector, the signal got to leave your modem and come back to the cable system and come back to the internet in yes. order to work. And if it can't get back, it's not going to work. Yeah. Right? Okay. So, but like, so there's. Lots of things that could cause your internet to be slow besides that with regards to your antivirus and stuff. And yep. uh, you can't take an old rust bucket and put it on the freeway and get the same speed <laughs> as you would have a brand new car. Exactly. If you've got an old computer, well, you're not going to go the same. No, that, that's it, right? But there are, over the winter, we had some legitimate problems with our internet yep. uh, up in Mister's area. There was a problem up there, and it was affecting 15 or 20 people, and, and we were trying to get our heads around what was going on. It took us a, a, a while to figure out what it was, but yep. that problem seems to have resolved. But we got equipment up in the lake poles uh, during the really windy, cold, stormy winter, mm -hmm. and uh, Things just break and give out and, right. and need to be fixed. That's, uh, and that, that's how I was going to do. Right? Yes. So now, uh, I know is that on the top part of everybody's modems, they got a 1800 or is it 188 number? 88. 188? Yeah. yeah. So now, what is, why do you guys stress the, they should call that <coughs> number first before calling air about their issue? Yeah, well, first of all, the, it opens up a trouble ticket. And yep. when that trouble ticket's open, if they can resolve the problem by getting you reset your router and stuff like those things, then yes. the problem is fixed. That's right. right? Yep. But if not, they can pinpoint and say, look, there's 20 customers up in Mr's area that's yep. having the trouble. Yep. Right? So then they can come back to us and say, look, don't bother to go to this individual house. Yep. You need to go, say, from this point forward. Yes. Because this is where the problem is starting. Now, every house down past this is having trouble. Yep. And we know our cable plant and stuff, so that we know then we can come in your house and run all new cables through your house and try to fix it all. That's it. And that's not the problem. Okay. Yep. The problem was a bigger issue. Yes. Right? So if everybody calls the 1 800 number, that's then it. it comes back to us and say, hey, there's there's a problem up in that end of town. Yep. And we can look at our maps and figure out what it is. And up in the light poles around town, there's all kinds of big boxes that pushes it out. So we know that from this box forward, everything's good. And from this box, the problem starts. So yes. we can start working on this box and figure it out. Right? Yeah. So the other thing is, it keeps a record. So right now, if you got trouble with your internet in Burge, you'll say, yeah. well, today, Chris might come up. Right? Chris Durnford, Durnford might come up and, and fix your problem. And two days later, you got the same problem. Yeah. Well. Because you called the 1-800 number, there's a record in there of what he did and thing. So the next time, Hanford could come up. That's right. Right? And so Hanford could say, well, geez, I don't have to run all these new cables in because Chris already got it done. That's so right. I can move further back. Right? Okay, yeah. So it was a record kit of what's done every time it's there. So that this customer called, problem got fixed. This uh, came in, old problem back. Yeah. So it's a nice, neat, and tidy spot where the record is. Yes. And the other thing is, we're only open from 8.30 to 4.30. Yes. 
that number's there 24 7 christmas eve christmas day boxing day right. whatever day you want it's two o'clock in the morning you get up and the internet's not working instead of christmas swearing because bbs is closed you pick up the 1-800 number and he might be able to fix it for you that's right or he could tell you that hey uh right now by the circuit is full yeah uh, the internet's slowing down because you're using all your bandwidth yeah they know it that's right. right. So they can that's tell right. you. Or they might walk you through, well, reset this and power this and things along those lines. Yeah. And 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 they might resolve the problem. Yeah. So but that's that's the purpose for it. And and, yes. and we pay for that service. That's right. Right? And, and it it does uh, keep everything neat and tidy for uh, records keeping and, and seeing, oh, I've been to Steve's house five times. Why well, obviously there's something else going on. Yes, that's right. Right? Yeah. So now, while we was talking about like mean the Netflix and all that stuff, now I don't think a lot of people understand what streaming really is. Streaming, streaming, yeah, yeah. You know, streaming. Some people, as you said, you mean you went into the person's house and and you mean they didn't think that they was using the internet, but it really was. Yeah, you mean so you mean so when you're streaming, you're actually using your internet right to the right to the max, pretty much. All the all the streaming. Uh, programs that I'm aware of, unless you went in and manually set it to a lower service, low service setting, yep. the default settings is fill up your internet, is get that movie yep. down to this box that's, that's streaming it as fast as it can. Yep. So what you will find is if you're using Netflix, you're up in your yep. bedroom watching Netflix, yep. and next thing or your young fellow's in the room watching Netflix or whatever, yep. somebody's using Netflix. The other person that goes to do anything, get on Facebook or whatever, internet's crap. Yeah. Because Netflix is using up that plate until yep. that movie gets downloaded. No, okay. Right? Yeah. Or the streaming device that you have there. Yes. And, and, and like, you, you know when you're watching YouTube videos? You get YouTube video and you got a, 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 a dark bar. Yep. The dark bar is coming and then there's a little bit of lighter bar that's staying ahead. And so yep. long as that little lighter bar stays ahead, mm -hmm. you don't add the buffering, right? Oh, okay, yeah. But if you got that bar on when you're doing your streaming, you will see that that bar just keeps on going until yes. it gets over on the end. Yes. But if you looked at your bandwidth usage at that time, yep. your cable modem is maximum, whatever settings. And if I haven't set at one meg, yep. you go up one meg. If I get set at three megs, five megs, or 10 megs, whatever I get to set at, yes. he's going to use up to that volume until that movie is downloaded on whatever device you're using to stream it. Okay, yeah. So now for, I know that you mean people, um, you mean there's always a campaign about uh, electricity cut back and you Electricity use and all this stuff, and how you can, you mean, I saw. So, like, how can we be more internet conscious, I guess, about like the bandwidth? So, like, I guess maybe if you're not using the Android box, turn it off. Yeah, that'll, that'll help, but uh, the games, the online gaming, and stuff like that. But, like, I'm not a I'm not a big uh, proponent of cutting back on that. No. The internet is there. I watch you to use it as That's right. much as you can and stuff. Yeah. But you had to be aware, just like with your cell phone. Yep. If you're going to use it more, you're going to have to pay more. That's right. And and people are using it more, so people are going to have to pay more. That's right, right yeah. So down the road, and the way the system is right now, uh, it's, everybody pays the same rate. Yep. But somewhere down the road, that with the new system that we can put in that you can log in seeing what you're using yes the the possibility is there that we can put in the system and say look everybody use 200 gigs if you goes over 200 gigs you're going to get charged an extra five dollars oh yeah or ten dollars or whatever the rate is to yeah. use more and, and so that that is there but until we have the ability to let the customer know how much they're using or the customer can find out how much they're using so that yep. you make a decision oh i've used 200 gigs uh, it's going to cost me $10 if I want to use more. No. Okay, well, your internet will slow down until yeah. the next month or whatever. Right? Yeah. Whatever the figure is. Right? Because that's what it does with each link, too, isn't it? If it goes over, what do, you, what do they do? Like, on, on the late packages that they enter? Slows down the dollar. Slows down the dollar. Dollar. 56K. 56K. Really? Yeah. When you hit <laughs> it, you're, you're, you're dial. And, uh, and, 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 and the problem with that is... Uh, just for argument's sake, you got a 50 gig package. You got a kid, first night, oh, I got a new game. Yeah. Downloads the game, they're up to 60 gig. <laughs> they're months gone. Out, they're months gone. So you got the rest of the month sitting and waiting until it speeds up again. We're not going that way. No. We're not going that way, right? So technically, like you mean, I buy a game the other day, it's fully online, whatever, but it's a single player, multiplayer game if you want it to be. 
but you gotta be on line. Yeah. So end up the the you know what I mean. So if I use up my bandwidth to just to download a game, <laughs> I can't. I can't play it ever. You can't, you can't play it ever, right? But that's what it's like with the, that's yes. with, with those yeah, packages, yeah. right? Because we're talking about other packages. That would be BS, right? right? But, I mean, no, we want we want you to be able to enjoy whatever you can. Yeah, but right? the, the thing is, we want you to be able to know how much. That's right. So that we're I'm getting right. that system put in so that yes, I think that would be good. But right now, if you phone the one eight hundred number, yeah, you phone the one eight hundred number and you say, "I want to know how much bandwidth I used." It does, yeah, yeah. They can tell you. Oh, perfect. They can tell you that, hey, I used 100 gigs last month and the month before. They can go back four months. Yeah. Right? And same thing here in the office. I can sit here on the computer now and I can look in and see how much Steve has got used, how much I used, and whatever. Yeah. And mine's gone down a lot since, since Dylan moved out. <laughs> and, and Andrew. But anyway, that, yeah. that's beside the point. Uh, I, I still watch a fair bit of Netflix and stuff like that. And, yes. and, and it's all right to be conscious of it. But like I said before, uh, we had one person that two people in town that used to hit 100 gigs, yeah. and we couldn't figure out what they were doing. Yeah. Now, everybody's using 100 gigs. Not yes. everybody, but no, it's uh, right. it, 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 the, uh, 20, 20 to 25 percent of the people are using 100 gigs a month. Yes. We have a few that goes out way beyond that and does 400 gigs and 500 right. gigs, but that's the way the system is right now. Yeah. Right? Well, one thing before it goes. Um, how about that thing that you told me about there, beginning of last year actually? That new regulation in Canada about uploading. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've had a couple notifications. One of the things people are getting away from now is using BitTorrents and downloading yep. movies and stuff. Yeah. And I don't care. Don't bother me in the slightest. Nope. But I get. As an internet service provider, yeah. I get notifications from different companies and say a customer on your network is offering illegally for upload yeah. of a movie. Yes. Upload. I've never gotten one say, download. Steve has got downloaded an illegal copy of this movie. Yeah. They, ne they never ever bother that. No. But I do get an occasional letter or an email saying, this person on your network has been offering for upload on this. So, one of the things that I tell people to do is, okay, you use your BitTorrents. When it goes into your download folder, when you get your movie downloaded, take yeah. it out of that folder so that he's not uploaded and yes. you won't get in trouble. Yeah. As much trouble, right? Because I know that onto U-Turn, what I use, it says, when it's done, it says seeding. Right. So, what you got to do is you got to click on it, you got to right click onto it, and you say you want to stop the download. Uh, uh, upload. Uh, Stop the upload, yeah, right? You know what I mean? So that, you know what I mean? Because cause if that is just going to be constantly feeding and out, out, out true, right? Yeah, but the, the, the thing is, when you're downloading, you're uploading it from somebody else's. Yes, that's right. right. And, and in order for that system to work, work you gotta somebody got to upload. That's right. right? There's, always, there's bits and pieces all over the world, actually, of that fall, right? That's right. But at the same time, I've only gotten letters from... Uh, copyright infringement from yeah. people offering to upload, oh, not yeah. for download, right? Yeah. So, and, I, and there's a couple of people in town. And I've come to the door and say, "Hey, I've got this letter, yeah. and you better do something about it, or you're going to get in trouble." Well, what is up to you if you do it or not? Right? Right, yeah. So, but uh, everything gets tracked and That's whatever. Right. Right? So they they know everything's all based on IP addresses and MAC addresses and stuff along those lines. So, yeah. anyway, it was. Uh, that's not a, that's a, a, a different kettle of fish, but yeah, that's right. with, with streaming, that's not an issue. The, no, the streaming, what they claim with streaming is is not illegal to stream because it's not downloaded and kicked and stored on your device. Yeah, it just comes it in, you watch it. Effort. When you turn the movie off, it's gone. Yeah, right. It, it deletes itself, and there's a gray area whether it's legal or not. But CRTC is it is not illegal. Cool. Right. So go ahead, stream away. That's right. Right. Per. Well, wait, that's all the questions I got for you, unless you got anything else. Yeah, and uh, people enjoy. Uh, I've had a lot of positive comments on the some of the older episodes that you put online for oh, yeah? YouTube. Right? Per. So people have been watching the YouTube, and uh, and uh, it's uh, pretty interesting to see some of the old interviews and stuff, and, and, yes. uh, and the history of uh, BBS as such right. and how it's progressed and stuff, right? Yeah. So anyway, but just to reiterate, Right now, the board of directors have approved across the board a five dollar increase 
mm-hmm. for uh, for the internet and it's coming in fact so uh, some of the customers out there have already come in and prepaid for the year yes now we have a little different discussion on that one that bbs builds by the month yes. so if you come in and say how much is it to the end of january Sure. From January to December, well, this is what it is now. What we does our bill every month, so if the rates changes, unfortunately, even though you've prepaid through the, through the year, you still got to pay that five dollars because yes. we didn't. There's no annual fee; it's That's a true. monthly fee that changes every month or subject to change every month, right? Yeah. Sure. So, but this fee, this five dollars increase, is across the board for all internet customers. Okay. Right, and that's so that we can buy more bandwidth and continue on with uh, people enjoying their streaming and their movie. Right, perfect. So, all right. Well, thank you for uh, enlightening us on the on the internet and stuff like that, and uh, hopefully uh, people have a better understanding. And uh, you know, I mean, uh, it's only five dollars. Oh, five dollars is a, a unfortunately is a, it's it's still only five dollars, but it's yes. uh, is it. It is a big jump for one time, yes. And and it's our fault for not doing it two dollars last month and two dollars month before or sure. whatever. And, and one swell fell swoop, but uh, it's a matter of us trying to keep the cost down as long as we possibly can. Yeah. And uh, right now, that's uh, the five dollars will cover the email addresses that we're going to be setting up and, and yep. the bandwidth monitoring and being able to buy more bandwidth. Yes. And hopefully down the road, if we can get a cheaper price on the bandwidth we're buying, then Eventually, we can roll back the prices or do what we can do. As we're still a community-owned, non-profit organization, right. but we also can't go in hole. We're not, we're not no, right? <laughs> no, that's right. I mean, uh, so but I think you guys is doing a uh, good job with it, boy, and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll all work out in the end. And uh, so thank you very much, and uh, come back again, boy. Yeah, try not to stay away so long next time. Yeah, have I? Yeah, have a little shorter interview next time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. There you go.